Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified Initiate Law 7 of 2019 regarding the registration of births and deaths. The provisions of this law shall apply to births and deaths occurring within Bahrain and to Bahraini nationals in the event that they are outside the kingdom. The law appeals decree by Law, law 1 of 1970 regulating the registration of births and deaths and repeals any text that violates the provisions of this law. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Gdebia Palace. After the session, the cabinet secretary, General Dr Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser, issued the following statement. The cabinet hailed the decision of the World Health Organization to honour His Royal Highness as a world leader and welcomed the organization's announcement of the honouring at its meeting held at the United Nations Palace in Geneva today. On behalf of the Cabinet, Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and affirmed that this honouring is an international recognition of a global leader such as His Royal Highness and the great achievements made in his country in the field of health and the development of the health system in accordance with the World Health Organization's goals and UN's 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. On the occasion of the Royal Order to adjourn the first session of the fifth legislative term, his Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the representatives and Shura councils for the constructive cooperation with the government, hailing the achievements made as a result of this cooperation. The Cabinet affirmed Bahrain's commitment to support the Palestinian people and its keenness to create opportunities that improve their conditions and aspirations for an independent state. It also affirmed Bahrain's support to initiatives that encourage investment in infrastructure and facilities for the development of the West Bank and Gaza Strip including Peace to Prosperity Workshop, which will be held in the Kingdom in partnership with the US. His Royal Highness then directed to deal firmly with all that stir up sedition and division and strongly condemned some of the websites and electronic accounts and social media for promoting slander and rumours aimed at undermining the social fabric through planning by enemies inside and outside of the country. He praised the awareness of the Bahraini society, which is steadfast in thwarting the objectives of these malicious and misguided accounts and directed the Ministry of Interior to firmly address this intensifying monitoring, follow-up and resolute measures that ensure the reduction of electronic accounts that harm the Bahraini social security and prevent them from continuing to achieve their malicious goals and taking legal action against them. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to achieve service-oriented architecture efficiency in new cities within the framework of the government's keenness to provide the best services for the citizens. His Royal Highness also followed up on the workflow of the establishment of the Khalifa Town Centre. In this regard, the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning gave a presentation on the project. The Cabinet welcomed the invitation of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to hold two emergency summits, one for the leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and one for Arab leaders in Mecca, along with the Islamic Summit which reflects the keenness on Gulf Arab consultations and coordination in the midst of the challenges and serious developments in the region, as well as the importance of reaching a unified collective position towards them. It also affirms the pioneering role of Saudi Arabia in leading the Arab action to overcome the region's challenges. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister here, the Director of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to transform the Diplomatic Institute at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs into an academy specialised in diplomatic studies under the name of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. He recalled with appreciation and pride the leading role of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak in developing diplomatic work. The Cabinet approved a draft decree of establishing Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies. The Cabinet approved the recommendation of the Civil Service Bureau, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, to decrease the organisational structure of the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, by reducing the number of Assistant Undersecretaries from four positions to two, and the number of Directorates from 14 to 11. The Cabinet also approved a draft law on evaluating the extraordinary aid requests of clubs participating in international championships. The Cabinet approved the minute of establishing Bahraini Saudi Coordination Council and appointed the Minister of Foreign Affairs to head the Bahraini side of the Council to sign the aforementioned minute. The Cabinet referred to the Representatives Council a draft law amending a number of articles of Decree Bylaw 18 of 1997 on regulating pharmaceutical careers and centres. 
a proposal on training and qualifying Bahraini cadres in the government sector was approved. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, has been named a world leader in the field of health by the World Health Organization, the WHO. This announcement was made during the 72nd World Health Assembly held by the UN Palace in Geneva in the presence of the organization's Director General, Tedros Cabricius, heads of states and governments, and the health ministers of the state members. The honouring came in appreciation of His Royal Highness's leading role in developing the general health sector in the kingdom and for his contributions, initiatives, success and achievements in the health sector. His Royal Highness is considered the first world leader to receive the honouring from the WHO in an unprecedented event in the history of the organisation, which affirms the international recognition of the achievements that His Royal Highness receive in sustainable development field. The Minister of Health, Fayekha bin Saeed Al Saleh, received the shield plaque on behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister from the WHO Director General. In a speech delivered by the Minister of Health, His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the WHO Director General for honouring which comes from a renowned organisation that carries a noble humanitarian message. It also highlights the Kingdom's achievements in the health sector, which represents the foundation stone for the sustainable development plans adopted by the Kingdom. His Royal Highness asserted that the health sector receives particular attention from the government as it's provided a modern and developed health infrastructure and developed health and treatment establishments equipped with the latest technology. He stated that honouring an incentive for the Kingdom is an excerpt to further the efforts of the developed the health and treatment care. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's pride in its continuous cooperation with the WHO to support the plans and programmes aimed at achieving sustainable development goals, the SDGs, noting the Kingdom's keenness on increasing this cooperation, particularly through the Khalifa bin Salman Award for Sustainable Development. He commended the World Health Assembly being held under the theme of universal health coverage, leaving no one behind, which emphasises the organisation's role in achieving global humanitarian goals. He expressed pride in the organisation's role of achieving SDGs, primary care and combating non-communicable diseases. For her part, the Minister of Health stated that awarding His Royal Highness the Prime Minister is a global testament for the achievements and efforts of the Kingdom through the directors of His Royal Highness towards achieving the global SDGs, especially in the field of health. She stressed that it is an honour and that the honouring was announced in a global event at the Palace of the Nations in the presence of the heads of states, government leaders and ministers of health from 194 countries. She expressed pride for being deputised to deliver His Royal Highness's speech during the announcement, stressing that it demonstrates the global impact of His Royal Highness's contributions and achievements in developing Bahrain and incorporating and following up on the needs of the citizens, in line with the policies set forth by the WHO. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday evening visited the Majlis of the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Majlis of Prince Faisal bin Mohammed bin Shreem Al Mari, the Majlis of Abdullah bin Hamad Al Noemi and the Majlis of the Abdullah family. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, the Chairman of the Brain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, were also present at the Crown Prince's visit to the Majlis of Prince Faisal bin Mohammed bin Shreem Al Mari. His Royal Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Majlis visits. The Crown Prince highlighted the Kingdom's far-reaching efforts to achieve its sustainable development goals, which are aimed at meeting the aspirations of the Bahraini citizens, in line with His Majesty the King's Comprehensive Development Programme. He noted that the Kingdom's major infrastructure projects represent a pillar of Bahrain's economic advancement and stimulate the creation of further jobs for citizens. In this regard, he stressed the importance of continuing to implement wide-ranging projects that further develop in the Kingdom's infrastructure. His Royal Highness concluded by highlighting that important role that the private sector plays in the Kingdom's infrastructure development, emphasising that a modern and efficient infrastructure plays a key role in attracting investments and stimulates innovation, 
For their part, the Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's visit and highlighted His Royal Highness's support to further developing the Kingdom's infrastructure.